Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of BDD using Behave, I'm going to show you how to install Behave BDD tool and then create the feature files and step definitions in that project. So let's get started. So first of all, I would like to launch this PyCharm ID. And in that PyCharm ID, I have to create a new project. Okay, let the PyCharm ID launch first. After that, I am going to create a new project to demonstrate this uh, behave PDD tool. Okay, and how to create the feature files and step definitions and how to install the behave. So the PyCharm ID has been launched. Uh, then what I will do here is I'll create a new project here. Just select the new project uh, and uh, here at this location where I have to give the project name. I'll say BDD behave demo, demo project, PROG, okay? Like this, I gave one name, some sample name. Click on create, a new project will be created now. As you can see on the screen, a new project is getting created. Virtual environment will be created and all. Let's wait for this to be completed. So once this uh, virtual environment is created, we'll go with the next step where we are going to install. Uh, we are going to install Behave BDD tool. How to install this Behave BDD tool in this project? I'm going to show you. For that, the environment need to be created. Okay. So almost there. So how to install this Behave? Like similarly, the way we have installed uh, different uh, packages, right? Click install Behave. We can say, or you can also install it from PyCharm ID settings. For now, I'll prefer PyCharm ID settings, okay? So here, uh, after this env uh, virtual environment got created, uh, this main.py will be generated. Uh, close that and delete this file. It's, of, uh, no, it's not required for us at this moment. So right-click on this main.py and delete. If in case it is required, you can create it back, no problem. I'm deleting from the project. So after that, to in order to install, okay? In order to install that uh, uh, behave package, so I'll select this project, select this file and click on settings. Once I click on the settings, I'll get this settings dialog. Let's wait for the settings dialog to come. Under the settings dialog, we have this project, select that project. And under the project, we have this Python interpreter, select that Python interpreter. Once you select the Python interpreter, you'll get this uh, packages that are installed already in this particular project. So only these three are there. Now I have to install that behave. I'll click on that place and just search for uh, behave here. Once I do that, I'll get this behave, select this behave from this list and click on install package. This is how we can install behave BDD tool in this uh, PyCharm ID Python project. Okay. So let's wait until this gets installed in this project. So we should get a green confirmation here that it got installed successfully kind of. Yeah, it's getting installed, you see. We got the confirmation package, behave installed successfully. That's it. Click on close and say, okay, that's it. We have successfully installed that. What next? After installing this behave, now let's create the feature files, okay? So, so we have to create something known as feature files, okay? So how to create them and all are covered here. So we have to first create features package under the project, okay? For BDD, BDD frameworks and all, right? If you are new creating these uh, steps, you have to follow. We have to create the features package under the project, right click and select this new and select the Python package and give the name as features. Press enter. The features package got created here. And after that, after creating that, now let's create a feature file, okay? So under this package, let's create a feature file. Features file will have the extension of dot feature. Right click on this features and select new and select file. And uh, you can give any name. For example, I would like to automate uh, some scenarios related to such functionality. I'll say search dot feature. Okay. Search dot feature. If you have multiple words in this name, you can give underscore search test dot feature like that. Okay. If you want to give multiple words, you have to give underscore and like this. In small case, you can give or you can simply say search dot feature. It's also fine. You see the cucumber kind of icon is coming. This proves that BDD is enabled. Okay. Behave is actually detecting this feature file. If you're getting this icon, Cucumber kind of icon means behave. BDD tool is recognizing this feature file, okay? So this feature file doesn't have anything. So let's see, uh, we have created the feature file with the dot feature extension. Now let's some, write some 
here the, some keywords are there here we have to write something in gherkin language okay the feature file or this behave tool will understand the gherkin language okay the behave bdt tool understand which language gherkin language gherkin language looks similar to english language but in a you know uh, kind of a formatted one okay so we'll see that you will understand there are some keywords in gherkin language there are some keywords okay using that keywords we have to write some english text okay that is nothing but the gherkin language keywords in the feature file we have to write the things in english language uh, with the help of uh, gherkin language keywords and behave bdt tool understand this gherkin language whatever i'm going to write under the feature file so the first keyword is feature keyword put a colon and here name this feature search feature okay you can you can describe it more but i'm writing like this here you see indentation is automatically coming when i press enter right keep this indentation this cap should be there automatically it is coming anyhow under this feature now write scenario scenario this is another gherkin language keyword scenario okay so one of the scenario in the search feature is uh, like test cases you have to write the title of the test case kind of stuff search for a valid product that's it when i press enter you see I'm getting this again, one more indentation under the scenarios. We have to write some steps under the scenario. Each and every step will have some keyword here. First one is given. You don't have to put colon here for given. For feature and scenario, you have ended with colon. But for given, you should not write colon. Here, write the, like you write the test case, right? you can write the steps okay, in English format. This is all Gherkin. Whatever the language I'm using for creating this feature file content right, is nothing but Gherkin language that behave BD tool can understand. Given. I navigate to, given I navigate to, uh, I don't have to navigate, uh, given uh, I, I open the, you can write one step here, okay, some steps you have to write, given I, mm, I navigate to uh, application. Given I navigate to application, you see this highlighting is coming because this particular step is not implemented. It then after that, when given when I enter the uh, valid product into search box feed i you see the way i am writing the test cases right you can be creative by yourself this is how i am writing you can write in your own way but it should make sense okay and i click on search button then what should happen then what should happen here given means what you should do okay uh, i mean uh, you know uh, the preset kind of thing and then when means action and th then means result okay when and, and this is action when you perform this action you get the result given is a like a predict set okay given i am on the application home page given i am on the application home page like this you can see if you want okay given i am on the application home page i enter valid product in search box i click on the search button then what should happen then uh then valid product should be displayed in the search results pitch like this okay valid product should be it should be displayed in the search results page like this you can write one scenario so there can be any number of test cases right similarly here also okay there can be any number of uh, test cases here every scenario is like a test case again and one more scenario i'll write search for an invalid product Okay, this need to be organized okay so this this backspace okay so that it is aligned here then right given i um on the application home page you see when there is same step right better to copy this okay because there is a small spelling mistake right to differentiate this step from this step it's better to have the same copy of the step here if they are same when i enter invalid product invalid product into search box field and I click on search button 
you see this one is same right i click on search button is same copy paste better okay it's instead of typing just copy paste so that it will not it will be same then then uh proper message should be displayed in search results page no product that matches the such criteria kind of message should come that's we have to verify okay this second scenario is complete one more scenario i'll write down scenario okay then i'll just uh, search without providing any product details so we have to search without providing the product name simple words okay given i am on the application home page when i enter uh, when i don't enter any product into search box field and i see this one is same it's better to copy paste this step here because they are same and this step is also same copy paste uh, then again this step is also same okay this step is also same so copy paste copy this one and paste it here okay there's one feature file i created you can create any number of feature files here only such dot feature file i created uh, but i would like to create multiple feature files but here all these steps doesn't have any automation code written that's why they are coming with some color and all okay we have to implement these steps whatever the steps have written here uh, for each and every step i have to write some automation code i'm not going to do do that now anyhow i'm going to do that later but uh, you can understand right uh, here we have written this uh, scenarios in english and we said behind these steps uh, we have to write some automation code later okay fine under the features i'll create one more feature file i'll select file here and just name this file as a login dot feature another feature file here also i'll just say feature feature keyword all these are orange color uh, coming keywords are getting keywords okay login feature and here i'll write down scenario and uh, I'll just write login with valid credentials. Okay, login with verify login with or whatever you want, right? I'm just writing login with valid credentials. Anyhow, we are going to verify. Given I navigate to login page, given I navigate to login page, uh, when I enter valid email and valid password into the fields and i click on this is action step this is a prerequisite side step for this to be performed action to be performed in this action i click on login button then i should get successfully logged in okay even I navigate to login page, I enter valid email and password into the field. So I click on the login button, I should get successfully logged in. Another scenario is like this login with invalid credentials. Login with invalid credentials given I navigate to same thing, same step. So it's better copy paste. Given I uh, log in with, uh, otherwise I have, I'll say valid email line, invalid password. This uh, test case I'll write. Given I navigate to login page is same. I copy paste it, this line. When I enter valid email and invalid password into the fields. And this step is same. Copy this step. Paste it here. Then what should be the result when I enter one of the thing as invalid password? I should get a proper warning message. Done. Set. Second scenario is completed. Third scenario I'm writing. Login with invalid email and valid password this time. Login with for sample I'm creating. You see in the search dot feature file I can create good number of scenarios. For sample I created only three scenarios and login also for sample two scenarios I'll create. Okay. So I'll just take three functionalities. One is login, another one is search, another one is register. For for now, I'm on the login dot feature. Login with uh, what is this? Uh, login with uh, invalid email. 
and valid password given i just copy paste this one and navigate the login page when i enter uh, invalid email and valid password into the fields and i click on same step i click on login button then i should get a the same step should get a proper warning message the last scenario i'm going to write down here should have done that earlier otherwise i have to do it for every step done fine last scenario as a sample i'm creating this is just for your practice okay i'm creating the scenarios and all okay just to make you guys understand how to write the scenarios and all okay so we'll do one thing i'll not go with the register rather i'll just you know put only the search dot feature file and explain in this session in the later part when i am building this framework right then i'll be creating all okay for now we'll have a sample search dot feature file but this is an example to show you that we can create as many number of feature files okay so I think this, uh, for now, I'll just limit myself with these three scenarios, but in, uh, in the coming sessions, right, I'll create more scenarios for you, for now this much. Fine, so search and login feature I created. Then I created something like this and I have to run this command. So I'll do one thing, I'll just delete this uh, search dot feature. I would like, uh, sorry, login dot feature I would like to delete. I'll be creating it again in the upcoming sessions, okay? For now, I'm deleting them for, for now, just for sample under the features, we can, even though we can create multiple feature files, I'm just limiting myself to only one feature file containing these three scenarios. Okay. Even these three scenarios are not required for us at this moment. I can remove these two scenarios also. I'll put only one scenario. Okay. One scenario I'll put. Just for, uh, just say we are just getting started. I don't want to, you know, overwhelm you with a lot of content and all. So to understand this BDD and uh, BDD behavior concepts, right? Uh, BDD behave tool and BDD concepts and all. Okay, I would like to go with some sample data, very minimal kind of data, only one scenario and one feature file I'm taking into consideration. So now um, I would like to run this feature file. Okay, I would like to run this feature file. So how to do that? Uh, for that, I need to go to the terminal. Since I already have installed a behave package here. Okay, now I can run behave commands here. Here in the terminal, I will type behave space this package name features. Okay, just give the features package now and press enter. The moment I press enter, uh, this behave will run uh, this particular such dot feature file. These steps will be run, but you see, till now we have not written any code for any of these steps. No code will run. So what will happen is just see. No step directory in these features. You see, it's giving me an error saying that okay, there are no there's no code written. Indirectly, it's saying no steps directory in features so we have to implement a uh, code for these steps otherwise this kind of error is going to come okay you have to understand this kind of error will come when you run this uh, feature file scenarios and all without writing or without implementing them then how to implement the steps for that we have to follow the next steps that is so when i run this it won't be able to find the steps and it will give you the error so the this config error kind of stuff no steps directory in kind of things came and now create step definitions. Okay. So here uh, steps directory. Since it is saying directory, let's create the directory. It's clearly giving me the message as uh, no steps directory. Let's create the steps directory. Create steps directory under the features package. So here under right click on the features and create a new directory and name that as uh, steps. That's it. It's looking for the steps. For each and every uh, step in this feature file need to be implemented under the steps. Okay. So under these steps, what we are going to do is we are going to create a Python file. Okay, I'll show you. We have to create a Python file. So right click uh, new. I'll just uh, select this Python file and uh, name it as search only. Okay. So you can give a different name also, but uh, I'm just making sure that the feature file name matches here. Okay. Search dot feature. So here search dot uh, Python file. Okay. Search dot Python file. So here, what I'm going to do next is after creating the Python file. Say this, now run this command again. Run this uh, command from terminal, same way, okay? After creating these steps and uh, creating this Python file with the same name and all, I'm just giving running this this time. 
You see, this time we didn't get that error. Rather, we got some code. It has auto generated some code for us. In the error, we didn't get the config. Earlier, we got the config error. This time, when I have run this behave feature, this time we didn't run the we didn't get the after creating the steps and uh, this uh, step definition. This is step definition file you have to call. Okay, this feature file, this step definition file. So for this feature file, this is associated uh, step definition file. Okay, this should contain the code related to this uh, steps of this feature file. Okay, so once you create this step definition file and this steps uh, folder under this features, now it's saying that we have run this uh, feature file steps. Okay, failing scenarios or everything uh, like one failed, one failed, uh, four undefined. Okay, so here you see four undefined is coming. All the steps are undefined. Here, how many steps are there? One, two, three, four steps. All these four steps are not implemented indirectly. And it is giving you suggestions also. Ap apart from saying that they are not defined, you have to implement them. It's saying how to implement also this advantage you are getting by running this command. Okay. Before implementing itself, just to save your time, just run that and it will generate you the some methods, some code in Python it will generate here, you see with some annotations and all, behave annotations and all are coming, right? You can implement step definitions for undefined steps with these snippets, copy them. When it is giving you, copy them, guys, okay? Uh, on the application homepage, for that it's, this is not giving you the entire step somehow. I'm on the application on mentor valid work. Only these two steps here is given us, but let's take that into consideration and, you know, is there anywhere it has generated? No, right? Only two steps is got generated. I felt like it will generate all four steps, but here only two steps are coming. Uh, I click on search button is coming. Maybe it requires some space or something, it seems. Let me run this again. Let me run this again and see this time. Yeah, it, it is coming. Maybe because of the space of this terminal, it's not coming earlier. Now, once I drag this up and then uh, did the command, right? I got all the four steps, okay? Implementation for all the four steps. Copy these four steps. After copying in, go to the search.py and paste it there. That's it, you don't have to do much. The search.py file, that step definition file, there's a feature file associated step definition file is here. For the mouse on at the rate given. So why it's not giving me unresolved given is coming. Okay, so at the rate when. Okay, then. So I have to implement them. I have to import them. Actually, I'm not getting the import statements somehow. Let me find it out. So since it is not giving any recommendations for us, there is a way it should give the recommendation, but it is not coming. So in that case, we can do one thing from which uh, package we are importing. We have to import them. They belong to the behave package. Okay. Uh, since we already have installed that behave package, uh, we can write from behave import this annotation name that is given. Here, like this, we have to write. You see, the error is gone. Just give the gap here, it will be gone. Warning will be gone. Now here, when is also there, for when also, we have to write the same thing from behave, import, when. Okay, here one more, then is there, from behave, import, then. Like this, you have to write. So uh, instead of writing the three lines, we can do one thing. In, the, in, in place of the given, put asterisk. It can be anything. It can be given when then you don't have to write this many lines only one line is enough okay so like this we can import whatever the annotations are there so in place of uh, and also when came okay in place of and also when came that's okay when uh, and is a uh, continuation of this when if this and is after the then or after the given right here here uh, auto generated will come as given given when when then then kind of stuff okay whatever the and is there here in this case this and is uh, followed by when okay that's why for and also when came. That's okay. You have to accept that. Okay. Done. These are the four methods that got auto generated in the output, and we have imported them now. And here, remove these statements, uh, which got auto generated here. Remove the statement and write some print statements here. Print inside, inside, just write down this particular thing. Okay. So here also remove this step. I'm writing some print statements. I'm not writing any here. Actually, in this particular each and every method, this is the name of this uh, method. Okay. Uh, I am on the application homepage is the name of the thing. 
and uh, you can also have the same name here also but okay that's okay it doesn't matter which name is there here but this uh, this should be proper okay because this one should match this um, this should match with the particular step in the okay this should match with the particular step in the feature file okay that is the reason it should be there so when you run this one when you run this particular statement uh, with this part if this particular text is matching with that particular method uh, at the red given circular bracket thing, that particular method will be selected. Okay. And here to make sure that this particular method got invoked or not, I'm just printing this line. So here in place of the print statement, we have to write some real selenium automation code that we'll do later just to save time. And uh, let's focus more on the uh, BGT behave concepts and all. I'm going with the print statements for a while. After that, I'm going to replace these print statements with the real selenium automation code in the upcoming sessions. Fine. Then I enter valid product in such box field. Here also write a print statement saying inside, we are inside this one. I enter valid product into the such box field. Okay, I'm going to print that. Then I click on the search button. Here also write print. Inside, I click on the search button. Here also print. Uh, inside I find valid product should be displayed in the search results page. Okay, like this, I'll create some methods and I'll uh, this time I'll go to the terminal and I'll try to run that. None of the print statements will be printed. Okay, even though these methods are going to run, but these print statements are not going to be printed in the output. Okay, so there is a reason behind that. I'll just I'll simply run the same command behave features and press enter. Now this time, uh, all, uh, there is no undefined. First of all, you see the scenario has been run and there are no undefined steps. All are defined and every step got passed. But we'll, we didn't get this output, okay? Inside I enter valid product is not printed in the such uh, this uh, terminal output. Inside I click on such button. If, if, no, none of the statement print statements got printed here. Why that is happening? Because by default, uh, in this uh, kind of projects, right, in this uh, BDT kind of projects, the print statements will not be executed. And there's a way we have to get them printed, okay? Make them printed. If, even though you're writing the print statements, if you want them printed, print their output in the output console, we have to do some changes here to this project. So what are the changes that we have to do? That I am going to cover in the next session, okay? Along with the hooks, right? Along with implementing hooks, I'm going to cover how to write those print statements. Okay, how to make how to make changes to this project to uh, uh, get these print statements printed, output printed in the output. Okay, so there are two things I am going to cover in the next session. That is, a, there is a concept of hooks that I'm going to cover. And apart from that, print statements. Okay, how to make these print statements to work also I'm going to cover in the next session. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye bye.